We just got this submission on our Quest for Sourdough website from a sourdough coming from Canada. The name of the sourdough is Charlie and he was born six years ago. It is created and used by a supermarket chain from Alberta. And we think it's very interesting. It could be a nice addition to the sourdough library. We had agreed that we were going to create um, traditional baking back again. So I went to task in creating the mother dough, which took about six weeks. Beta was started right after with unbleached, untreated flour and started well over the course of a few weeks. Given my inexperience, um, I was not consistent with water and flour temperature and he over fermented. Charlie started right after that with a little bit more research, knowledge and expert advice. Once we started, I think we were at about 50 lobes a week in the company. Like it was really low because customers, consumers, they just know it as vinegar bread and bread that's just not very good. Um, so it really took us time to expose the consumer to real sourdough. So when we started, we were about 50, 60 loaves a week. And to date right now, we're about 5,000 loaves a week. So yes, there's a demand and people want good bread. When I got here, our bakers were not really bakers. They didn't really understand fermentation and that was really where we had to teach them. And we had several training sessions where we really worked with them to expose them to real baking and to train them. So it, it really uh, hinged on proper training and understanding of fermentation. I mean, it's gonna be really neat to find out what makes up Charlie. It's I'm such a proud moment to have Charlie part of the library, but what it means for baking that a grocery store could have their mother dough alongside other sourdoughs like San Francisco Sour. It's just incredible, so it means something. has arrived from Canada. What we are going to do now is to do a first analysis of things we can do here in our microbiological lab and another part will be sent to Marco Gobetti in Italy for a complete analysis of this, well let's hope, very interesting sourdough. While Guylain and Manon go further with the analysis, I am taking Charlie to his final destination, the Sourdough Library. I'm looking forward to the results of Marco Gobetti to know more about the biodiversity of Charlie. Well, hello Jay, how are you? I am good. Thanks Very for good. taking the time. We have the results from uh, the University of Marco Gobetti and we found another sourdough here in the library with the same combination and it's a sourdough coming from Slovenia. Slovenia? Slovenia, yes. You know, uh, Frank Lovsen, the owner and founder of our company, his family is from Slovenia. The family is from Slovenia? The whole family is from Slovenia. Wow. It's fantastic, actually. Are you, are you surprised? Very surprised to hear that you know, the same kind of sourdoughs in Slovenia is, I don't believe in coincidences. I think that's really neat. We didn't, we, we had no idea that the Friesen brothers were from Slovenian uh, heritage. But 
thank you any, uh, anyway. Well, that's it. We know now that Charlie contains the Latilactobacillus sakei and the Leconostoc Oldzapfeli and as a yeast, the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. We are very happy to have him in our sourdough library collection and if you want to know more about it, visit the website.